Hi guys and girls. Okay, I felt a need to make this video. So we're gonna call this um, high and subwoofer part three. So it is on the back of the Validine. So I don't want you guys to think that that sub was not on part of the other subs. It was just meant for another use. So I brought it here to the front with my stereo, well, lots of demo stuff in here, but my stereo demo I do here mostly. Because the room is bigger, I can get more speakers in here and and and. So I've got the Validine on here. Um, at the moment it is running off the NAD778, running that Validine DD12 subwoofer. And I think the Bowers, yes, the Bower and Walken Anniversaries. Guys, I'm going to play this sub. I have got it set down so low. Um, let me just confirm what it is on the sub. I've got this thing set on 20. Um, and this remote is very handy. As you listen, you can go through different things. To have a full-size remote, handy. But in any case, so, I've got that thing set on 20. It's idling. 20 is like flipping 20% of what that sub can do. And it integrates with normal music so well. But when you want to go all out, I can shake this house apart if I want. So I'm not going to play like nice integrated stuff like Eric Clapton or any of that sort of music because you won't be able to appreciate it. What I am going to do is some testing on full out bass. What I like about the sub, and I noticed it yesterday while doing, when I actually, when I shot that video, I noticed it, but I noticed it again on the playback. Some notes this sub plays where the others don't, especially on that one demo I did, it gave a low down frequency linear, where the other subs sort of didn't play that. And then it started playing other notes, which was very weird to me. And I'm noticing it here again. What is happening is, let's say you listen to an extreme bass note. You'll get to is like, and it will sort of sound like it is sort of breaking up or that sub is skipping a bit of a beat, but it's not bottoming out. It's just, it's just how quickly that sub can react to notes changing. This thing doesn't do it. It's like straight through. And when it changes the note, like dips a gear, goes up, goes down, goes up. It is so quick to respond. It's so like I say, this sub, I'm going to say it again, scalpel in a surgeon's hands. So you won't be buying this normal Joe in the street, or even if you think you know about audio and you want a good sub, but you're not prepared to spend the time or get someone to professionally, professionally calibrate it or take your time to do the homework and figure out how to professionally or how to set it up best as you can. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. This sub is not for you. Even myself sitting here for, this is very fiddly to get the sub to work. But once you do, I don't think there's a better sub. Um, I really don't. And it's even their 12, it's not their 15 or their 18. Still, see, still waiting to see if I get my hands on those. But okay, let's get into it. Just gonna play some different things. See if you can hear what this thing does. It's insane. Was Nation Brita remain check. Experience that. Check.
guys, listen to this. These bass notes are so low. It almost feels like I'm sitting in a car with the doors closed with two 15s, where I think you can actually see my camera shake. And it's flipping way back. It's on a chair. Um, <laughs> listen to this. Could you hear how low down that note goes? It is, it's, it's phenomenal. So okay guys, I just wanted to do this video again so you guys can hear what this thing is all about. So really, if you're in the market for a high, high-end subwoofer, something that surpasses like your normal SVS or Miller and Crystal, um, it comes at a hefty premium. Um, off the top of my head, it's, it must be some of, it must be the most expensive subwoofers that I've come across, barring going to stuff like um, ultra high end, when you start going to the Steinways and stuff like that. Um, but out of SVS, Validine, Miller and Cressel, um, all of those, I do think if you can set these up properly, you must be one of the best subwoofers available ever. Okay guys, stay safe, please like, subscribe, see you on the next one. Cheers.